Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I wanted to give my final review of season 6 from Battlefield 2042. And yes, I know today the season 7 trailer is releasing, but it's releasing like I think 2 or 3 hours before I have to go to work so I don't have the time to make a proper video on it and upload it later this day. So that's why today you get my season 6 review and then I will cover the trailer fully on first day. Then I had a bit more time with the trailer, could watch it a few more times, make a proper script. So. Yeah, so season 7 and trailer review, basically I do it on first day. And if you're interested in season 7 of Battlefield 2042, subscribe to the channel. I will definitely cover the whole season. But yeah, with this out of the way, let's start with the season 6 review. First of all, I have to say season 6 is my most played season, actually. I think on Redacted alone, I probably almost have like 200 hours. Maybe I'm at 180. I currently don't know, but I will show you a picture right now where you can see how many hours I played. Definitely my most played season and my most played map so let's directly start with the most positive thing of the season the map i think redacted is a great map i personally am a diehard infantry fan i don't really like vehicles that much so having an infantry only map is literally heaven for me and i think you can also see this on in my playtime but yeah i like the map i like the map even more than i do metro or lockers what might be blasphemy for some old school battlefield players but even though i played a shit ton of metro back in battlefield 3 and in battlefield 4 when it released as dlc while also playing a shit ton of lockers in battlefield 4 i still think redacted is the best infantry map out of these three maps and it's definitely the best map in battlefield 2042 you have enough flanking opportunities it's not as crowded as metro i also think like there aren't as many stalemates as you had back in metro where with the escalators and the stairs basically in the middle of the map you really couldn't flank or do anything while on redacted i have the feeling you can generally flank really good come from behind and overall i just think redacted is a great map but that's also almost the only thing that was good this season i might throw in the battle pass here I bought it naturally since I had enough coins and I played enough to fully complete it. And I think the Battle Pass skins, they looked good, but they are nothing out of the ordinary or something super excited. Even though I like the tier 100 pike skin, it's basically the only pike skin I'm running when I run pike. But yeah, Battle Pass was good, but nothing special. Now let's talk about the bad things of this season. And the first thing that comes to mind is how hard dice fumbled the player increase they got with the season. If I'm not mistaken, on Steam the player count when the season dropped and the free weekend dropped shot up to 107,000 concurrent players. That was more concurrent players that the game had at launch. And what does DICE do with those players? Nothing. They just said, oh nice, we have a big increase in players. They all like Battlefield. They want to get back into the game. What are we going to do? Nothing. We won't deliver any new content for the next five months. We will surely keep the those players and guess what happened? Right. All the players that were interested in the game dropped out again because there was literally no fucking content. And I don't understand this. Like for the last two and a half years, they literally tried to get back at the community, build goodwill with the community, try to get the game into a proper state so that more people play it and the series doesn't die out. And now with season six, they finally got it. People are interested. A shit ton of people hop on the game. They try it out. They have fun because those player numbers stayed consistent. So people actually enjoyed the game and would play more. And then they are doing no content. And from the little content they delivered after with like the two in-game events. Like honestly, the guy in charge of when to push out content should just be fired. Like it's a live service game. And honestly, I don't expect much. But if I were to make a game and my game would flop. And then after years of work, I would finally get to a point where I reach all time new highs for my player account then i'm not just letting it sit there and be like oh yeah next content in five months truly those players will come back again no then i'm like oh how far are we with the new maps maybe can we schedule a map earlier to keep the momentum maybe add some more guns to keep players a bit more interested in the game even if it's only keeping their interest for like a month more or maybe two months but this would be at least something that they completely fumbled the back there and honestly i think we still get a lot of players back with season seven but it probably won't be the same amount of players we had gotten if they just added more content to season six but well that was their decision now they have to live with it another thing i have to sadly put on the bad side are the weapons this season for some reason this time around the weapons felt 
very oppressive and very strong and yes i enjoyed those guns i had fun while it lasted i was pretty quick to tier one actually both the vhx and uh, g428 because i just knew instantly when i played the first time how op these guns were and that they were getting nerfed and for the g428 i think they nerfed it relatively quick but with the vhx honestly it took them like i think it took them like four months if i'm not mistaken or three months just to fix the gun and make it in proper state and if you play the game now like the gun now is still really good and and really usable it's just not super oppressive and op and i don't understand why they didn't make these changes earlier of course i also have to say i had fun with the vhx i dropped some really nice games with the gun and it was a really brain that gun like i could just play the game turn off my brain didn't have to aim and could still get a shit ton of kills but after playing the op gun for like two three weeks straight and dropping a shit ton of kills you would never get with any other gun it honestly it got quite boring and then it also started getting frustrating getting killed by the gun because everyone in the lobby was using it so yeah this is something i dislike from the devs that they took so much time with the balancing but i feel like they probably took so much time because they are so shit at their own game that they needed an op gun to actually play the game even a little bit but that's just my opinion and yeah that was basically all we had with the season to be fair i think the season was super small when it like comes to the content they actually delivered like three new guns a map and this uh, flying vehicle they are still from gta but i never used it to this day oh yeah and i think they also introduced back the ammo pouch and the medic pouch from battlefield 5 but overall it was a really small live service update basically but i also think it kept a lot of players around i mean of course these days i think a lot of people really don't want to play redacted anymore and i can understand it because i would argue like 80 percent of the player base spam redacted and even early on if they didn't want to play redacted they queued for like another map remembered how shit the base game maps are compared to redacted then queued back into redacted and if you want to play redacted these days yeah good luck the amount of 12 m abusers on this map currently is crazy and honestly i also missed the first like few weeks of the season where we didn't have all the shotgun spam on redacted because people were actually still experiencing experiencing the new map finding out new ways to play these days it's just honestly it's just a shotgun spam and a grenade spam what's that so i hope that with season 7 when people stop playing redacted and go play the other maps again and, and we come back to redacted by it either being a 24 7 map again later into the season or just randomly getting this getting the map when queuing for normal conquest i hope the map starts playing a bit better again and people don't instantly default to the 12 m because they can't hit their shots otherwise but yeah overall i think think it was a really nice season but but the season got so heavily carried by the map and also by having the op guns because i actually think a lot of people continued playing the season because they noticed that the guns are so op and it was so much easier to get good games and ha get a lot of kills and so they thought now they need to use the chance they have to get a better kd on average and more kills per game before all the guns get nerfed and i think those two things good map op guns contributed to the higher amount of players but yeah no as everybody else i'm also ready for season seven <laughs> so honestly i will remember season six as probably the best battlefield 2042 season not only because of the map but also because that's basically the season i started my youtube channel on so depending on how far we are going with this youtube channel i think i will remember the season very fondly and even though it was i think by no accounts if you look at it objectively we didn't get a whole lot and was probably not even worth calling it a season the season felt probably for a lot of people more like a mid-season update you get in court because in court with a mid-season update i think mid-season 2 update just launched they got like one new map and i think two new guns or one new gun so they on call of duty almost got the same content we got in battlefield for like five months i really liked this season personally i probably would review it like eight out of ten that's probably if you look at it objectively a way too high score but for me that's just how i would review the season and yeah as i said in the beginning season 7 trailer breakdown on first day and i also i say this now but i predict season 7 the launch probably march 26 and yeah that's basically my review for season 6 now i would like to hear your thoughts what do you guys think of season 6 did you enjoy the map did you enjoy the guns and was it a season you played a lot more compared to the other season or was it a season where you dropped out very early i would be really interested to know and yeah if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and if you want to be informed for season 7 and all that stuff that's coming with season 7 subscribe to the youtube channel as always thank you very much for watching until the end and i will see you in the next one